Hello, my name is Liz Carpenter and I work at Go to Table down on South Rich Hill Street in Waynesburg. And right now I am making a lavender cappuccino and a salted caramel, or I'm sorry, milkshake. I'm making a lavender milkshake and a salted caramel milkshake. And so we um, hand dip them, so we make them with this kind of old fashioned milkshake machine right here. So, and we use Mayfield Creamery ice cream, which is really good. It's very creamy and... So you, how, how much ice cream do you put in the, in the cup? Um, right? I would say, Maybe about three scoops, like good, you know, hefty scoops, I would say. Yes. Sometimes I add a little extra, sometimes I... I had no idea. It was on my debit card. Okay. Okay. You know, I do it all by eye, so... Yeah, a lot of times that's the best way. That's the best way. Yeah, yeah because I was like, it just dawned on me. I was like, I have no, no idea. Worries. Do, uh, do a lot of people, or do people uh, want to pick a lavender? Because that seems yeah, unusual. Yeah, it was kind of... I've had lavender cappuccinos before, and I think they're delicious. And so whenever she said we were going to get a milkshake machine, I was like, a lavender milkshake would be yeah, really good. That's... And I've seen them other places, but lavender and vanilla go really good together. Yeah. So, and then this one is the salted caramel. We also use Chirani for that. So we do serve. Oh, you're. Did you stop recording? We do serve um, our milkshakes in our handmade mugs. And that's why it's called Kiln the Table because yeah. you have all your own. Uh, in house made. The, uh, exactly. We have a uh, pottery studio in the back here. Now, we usually serve these in our tall mugs, but I'm splitting them just so you both can try. Yeah, we're trying uh, two flavors today. That's right. said we, we had no intention of having lunch. <laughs> I talked you into it. Yeah. And then we always top our milkshakes off with a little whipped cream. Uh, so you're going to bring those over to the table? Please. I can. Yep, oh, okay. yep, yep. I can do that. Alright. So these are the lavender and these are the caramel. Okay, so what? Unless, I, unless I mixed them up. So this, <laughs> you guys get one of each. Right, right. So this one's the lavender, that one's the lavender, and I think these two are the caramel. Okay. Should we start with one in particular or what? Does it matter? Yeah. I don't know. I, you know, the lavender, I like the lavender one. So you have kind of like a clean palette right now. So I would start with the lavender. If I did this right, I think this one's the lavender. No, Here, let me give this a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what's it taste like? <laughs> mm, salted caramel. Okay. Salted caramel. Okay. It, it's really right. thick. Really thick. Well, we're gonna try them out and okay. uh, we'll give you our comments okay, about good. here. Uh, the lavender is uh, the salted caramel is sweeter than the lavender, and the lavender is more subtle. You really get the taste of caramel in this uh, salted caramel, but 
the like I said, the lavender is very uh, subtle. Yes, very, very like uh, cleansing your palate. Kind of. And I thought it would have a purple color, but it doesn't. Yes, yeah. very, very unique flavor, but very, very interesting and worth trying. Uh, lavender as a flavoring.